as far as the, the, the technology piece goes, it's just tools, right? It's until the robots take over, right? And they just, there won't be any jobs. So this job is, it would be on the chopping block just like any other job. Um, until that happens, the tools that we have available to us now to do the same thing. What are we doing on a claim? We are, you know, the, the highest level of it is we're investigating whether or not it's, there's damage there. Is the damage covered under their particular policy and endorsements and whatever? And then writing them a check or not writing them a check, right? That's that's what the claims process is. And that hasn't changed, right? So that still has to happen. Whether we have AI or we have like, you know, machine learning or we have these, we have tools that are that are taking something we used to do by hand from scratch, right? Piece of paper, pencil and a tape measure, right? And running it out from wall to wall and then, you know, diagramming and measuring a whole house that way. The next thing was, is, oh, we got a laser, right? So now lasers, because everybody's got a laser in their pocket, which is, which was a huge leap, right? Of having a laser versus tape measure inside. Now you can get that in, you know, maybe half the time, right? It takes you 25 seconds to measure with tape measure, it takes you 10 seconds to do it with the laser, right? That's that's significant, and that adds up over the course of that whole scope, especially if it's like 5,000 square foot house all on one level with three inches of water everywhere, right? That's going to add, it's going to take you half the time to scope that house, or to at least diagram and measure it. Now we have tools, Xactimate Mobile, which I'm totally with you on this. Xactimate Mobile, I get the diagram and the measurements at the same time, right? And you can take pictures in there and they're working, they were always working to improve the photo thing. And they're being really good about listening, I think, to what makes sense in a workflow versus like, well, we're just gonna tack photos on. It's in there, right? You could take photos and you could do voice, you know, uh, Ken's bedroom overview, right? Ken's bedroom, you know, whatever, the baseboard, water damage, right? Whatever it is, right? And you can just say the stuff in there. And then when you're when you get to the front of the house, uh, they're done with it, right? You can even, as you go from room to room, write the estimate, right? So you get the diagram, the measurements at the same time, take your photos, label your photos, and then drop a macro on it, delete out what you don't need, you know, adjust it a little bit, and then go to the next room. By the time you get to the front of the house, you're done. You're done, right? What do we do? We investigated the loss, right? was part of that. And we said, yep, it's covered. So that you wouldn't be like taking pictures and diagramming and scoping if you weren't going to pay for stuff. And then we're writing an estimate. And now you get to the front of the house and you're, you've got the whole thing and you can hit submit and the insurance company can give the homeowner a check, right? That's a significant improvement for customers, right? Like homeowners and people who own some vehicles and whatever, all these new workflows. Um, and it makes you more efficient, right? I don't have to now go back to my hotel room if I'm, you know, every other adjuster and stay up till one o'clock in the morning looking at my sweat stained piece of paper that's got, you know, I was dripping sweat on it because I, I did the inside and then I went and did the roof and it was really hot and I'm trying to figure out what I wrote there and it, my ink is all blurred and, and then just guessing and making stuff up, right? You know, there used to be, they probably still say it, but, you know, if you if you're if it's two o'clock in the morning and um, this is what an adjuster is right it's two o'clock in the morning and you, and you can't reach your measurement you forgot a measurement then you adjust and you just make it up right. don't do that you don't have to do that these days and you can be faster and get sleep right so you know kind of to wrangle this thing and land the plane for people that have experience two, three, five years of experience, maybe more than that, and they want to level up. The key, if, if you're in it this long, right, and you're in your, your, all of your income comes from claims, like you're a claims professional, right? Then you're doing something right, right? If you're not making as much money as you want to make, then this is where you need to start to optimize, okay? And when I say optimize, I mean, Take a good, hard look at the tools that you're using. Maybe instead of like, you know, you don't have to use Xactimate Mobile because you carry, the carrier doesn't care if you do or not, or the iFirm says, well, you don't have to. 
maybe start trying to use Xactimate Mobile. There's going to be a little bit of a ramp up into it, but I think you're going to find that you'll be able to do, I don't know about double, but more a day than you did than you do now, right? So you can. So if you if you just want to keep trucking along doing what you're doing, then improve that then spend a lot of time pri prioritize your efficiency and your workflow and put it under a microscope right time yourself everything that you do get to the house at two o'clock and finish introducing myself to the homeowner and chatting with the, the contractor 207 right and i'm gonna write that in the margin of my fnol or whatever scope the roof you know finish doing that at 219 scope the instant so i want to write the estimate you know by the time i'm done it's 253 i'm driving away right that's pretty good, right? I did the whole hail claim in less than an hour, right? Maybe I can get that down to 45 minutes and squeeze one more in at the end of the day, right? If you really, really get down. There's a point of diminishing returns, obviously. Optimize what you're doing now. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for, and everything else, looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at hagueducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.